So if you're working on a Logic project that has a whole lot of audio files, say for example like a remix, and you want to move this from one machine to another or maybe send it to somebody, particularly if you're on the Point Blank Online remix course, you're going to want to send your projects to your tutor. And so condensing the actual projects is a really good idea. I've got a project here that's got stacks of audio parts, and this is basically just to illustrate the fact that these audio parts are basically here but on some of these there's actually redundant information now on this particular one there are two empty tracks for example let's get rid of this now there are also sections where we've got basically lots of silence this is taking up space on the hard disk so for example on this brass tab and let me just set things to bar at the moment so it's going to be nice and clean when I'm doing these I can actually take these and make them smaller. I'm just doing this from the distance. It doesn't have to be too precise in terms of getting rid of that space. So look, you can see that we'd be actually saving a lot of room. We haven't finished yet, but what we need to do, you might as well just get the scissors and just start chopping. Just cut out what is not needed. So make sure you're not taking out things that you do want. You know, I know for sure that there are silent areas in this and I'm just going to show you, before we go any further, the complete project folder. The size of this is 1.91 gig at the moment. That's how big it is, okay? So, 1.91 gig. And let's just get the scissors back up here. So, just chop in, chop. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time for me to do this, so I'm not going to actually make you sit through and watch all of this. I'll jump forward to a later point so it's not too dull. So let me just keep going with this and I'll see you on the other side. So I've been through this and I've made quite a lot of chops. You can see it's actually looking a lot smaller now. Let me get rid of these redundant tracks. And we've got a much more condensed version. I mean, I could be even more precise here and just do this, but I'm just truly just doing this for speed. So you can see we've actually got something that's got a lot less audio. Now, in order to actually deal with this, we need to go through and do something. But let me just play you something first so you can tell that there's not gonna be any difference sonically. I've just got a few elements soloed. So this is basically the Enzyme Black Meets You track, and this is the Danny Joe Lewis New Jersey Scat Remix. Let me take the solos off. You can hear some more of these elements coming back when we get rid of them all. So it's going to come through now. And this is unmixed, this is just the raw audio files bounced down. So that's what's going on. We're now going to go through this procedure to basically trim away the unnecessary files. But in order to do that, we need to create brand new files. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all, come to audio. And what we're going to do is say here, convert regions to new audio files. So we're going to click on that. We've got here, basically, it's going to start storing these inside the project folder. I'm going to leave everything the same. So no changing to sample rate or bit depth. So I'm going to click on save and we're going to leave that running. So essentially it's cooking up these new files from the regions. So it's going to be new files without those redundant pieces of silence. So we should end up with something far smaller and you'll see that afterwards. But before we actually get to that point, we are going to need to remove the unused audio files. And you can do that over here on the bin on the media window. So we'll need to do that fairly soon. So we're just going to wait for this to come through and we'll look at that on the other side. So we've got the new audio files created and they're there in the range window. So over here on the right hand side, now come up on the bin to edit, select unused. Now we push backspace to get rid of them. And what's happened now is that they're actually gone from the project. So now to finish the job, come over to file, go to project and, and come down to clean up. You can see here that it's got a list of the unused audio files. I'm going to click OK. 25 files have been moved to trash. I'm going to come down now to the dock, empty the trash. And then we can take a look at the original folder, which is on the desktop. 
the complete project folder now is 890 meg so we've made a considerable saving in terms of the actual file size there so you know th this applies not only to things like remixes but if you've got a project and you've been recording lots of audio maybe lots of vocals lots of guitar there'll be lots of dead space so you could use the same procedure to remove that dead space and condense your projects down to much more manageable file sizes when you're distributing them over the internet so to finish the video let's just play this back so this is with the new audio files and it should sound identical to what it did before <laughs>